Mike, a guy that we keep hearing about in bowl prep in the last few weeks has been Christian Allegro. What's he done that's kind of shown you he's ready for an opportunity to kind of step up into a bigger role here in this bowl? Well, he continues to uh, show his athleticism, making plays out here in the practice field. He had a great interception today that uh, I would say multiple coaches jaws dropped a little bit. And uh, as his confidence grows, he plays that much faster and you see more and more of that. So his athleticism can shine. He understands it now too. In general, what, what would you like to see out of your inside linebackers moving forward now that you've had a year in the system and there's going to be some changes in terms of personnel, but what, what do you feel like that group needs to accomplish? With the you know what? They're a great physical group of linebackers and we're continuing to get more and more and more athletic. And you could look at half the games during the season, even the Big Ten Conference are all about speed and athleticism and space. And then half of them are about smash mouth football. And that's what's unique about our league. And we need to have guys that are comfortable and successful doing both. What do you think stands out about Leon Lowry and John Pius? I would say, first of all, their athleticism and length is very, very good. Um, second of all, when you put them out there and pass rush drills that's that's fun to watch it's a little um, something that we hope is going to be real exciting moving forward but I'm also excited about how well they have been coached up on fundamental football like they're out there using their hands and doing some of those things well too which you know you don't know when you're getting from somebody from another program how they've been coached so that's been good to see I'm just gonna ask about Austin Brown moving him from the slot for Jason I know he played some of their this year but is it, a, is it tough for a guy that big to play in that area, you think? It depends on your skill set, right? I mean, I've coached some pretty good corners that were six foot three in the long run, and most people would say you can't do that, but it depends on your skill set. Austin is a very good athlete. Um, Austin runs very well, changes directions very well. Uh, it, it's, it's a comfort level thing, and I think what he's found is there's actually a little less communicating and a little less that's going on right there that allows him to play fast. So I think he's really embracing it. We heard a lot on signing day about adding length and athleticism like you were talking about. What do you think the overall impact of the defense is when you have taller, longer guys? And So, I mean, I've coached uh, a five foot ten linebacker starting in the NFL right now as a rookie, right? But you have to be right on point. You have to be perfect when you don't have quite as much range or you don't have quite as much athleticism. Ivan Pace does have athleticism. Sure. But <laughs> when, when you are a little bit shorter, your arms aren't as long, if you're not quite as hippie or change direction is not quite as good, you have to be perfect. You can compensate for some maybe missteps or, or mistakes with speed, athleticism, and like. On the flip side of that, does it, does it allow you to tighten windows for a quarterback who's trying to fit a ball in. If you got guys everywhere who are can Yeah, they naturally tighten okay. windows. That's that's exactly right. Like the shorter linebacker in yeah. underneath coverage, he needs to be perfect. Okay. Right? Uh, the longer six four Christian Allegro type of guy could be standing in the exact same spot that um, a shorter, slightly less athletic guy is and, and he can make a play. Yeah. So yeah, and if you have that across the board, the windows shrink. I know you've still got a, a game to go here this season, but do you have a list, maybe like a bullet point list of things you feel like you need to address defensively to get to the, that next level? And, and maybe this window of op this year has given you a better sense of how you do that here. You always have that list. Definitely as a year progresses and bowl practices progress, you can sort of narrow that thing down. But we're not getting into that. So the, sort of in the back of your head type of thing as a coach, as a coordinator, as a head coach. But right now we're attacking this game because champions prepare like champions even before they're champions. Besides Christian, are there any other you know young guys that have really caught your eye and you know, take advantage of these extra reps? Or yeah, I mean, there? not necessarily a bunch of true freshmen I'm gonna throw out there, but like we already mentioned Austin Brown, I really think he's stepped up. I think Kurt Neal's like stepping up in terms of being a disruptive, explosive football player. They're, there are guys that are out there like that, and this will be a big opportunity for them against a real talented group of guys. Let's be comfortable. We saw a lot more slanting over the last few weeks on the defensive line. Is that something that you want to just continue to add to this group and that their ability, or is that just maybe the matchups you have? So you are, you are trying to figure out what guys do best and play into their strengths. There's no doubt about that. Um, I think we also just as the year progressed, figured out what has been the best for us. 
And it also might be just the situations of games and, and the feel we had at that point. I wouldn't have said we were slanting a whole bunch more than we were, but it might just be what we've fallen into uh, feeling successful doing. What's your comfort level in terms of your depth on the defensive line? I know you got one more game to go, but you've been obviously added. Yeah, we do. Right? And the, the portal and, and with recruiting, what's your comfort level going into next year with what you have? We need to keep getting better there, but I don't think there's a team in the country that's really comfortable with their defensive line depth. That's the hard spot to have great depth, as is corner. I mean, Georgia may tell me otherwise, but I don't know if there's anybody who says they're comfortable with their D-line depth.